Hi, this is Melissa Manneman with Coal Banker Apex. I'm out in Sutton Fields in Salina. So let me tell you a little bit about Sutton Fields. It's a big master plan community in Salina and the area in which my clients are actually building a home out here, it's zoned for Prosper Schools. And that was very important to them. They wanted to make sure they were in Prosper Schools and basically they wanted a 3,500-ish square foot house under $500,000. Now today you can't find that. Um, eight months ago was very difficult to find, but we were able to capture that in this neighborhood and they're thrilled with it. They can hardly wait to move in. But as you might imagine in this year, 2021, it's been very difficult for builders to keep up with the pace of, of demand. Um, and more importantly, what they're really having a difficult time with is being able to source out all the supplies they need and all the labor that they need in order to fill all the orders or all the houses that they've actually contracted to build. So that's not anything different for my clients. But once they get into their house, they're gonna have instant equity. I would venture to guess they probably have around 75,000 in equity right now if they were to turn around and sell that house. So it's an amazing deal for them. Uh, it's gonna be worth the wait, but it sure is a little painful. But let's take a look at the amenities and what helped draw them into this particular community. So here at the amenity center, out here at Sutton Fields, let's take a look and see what we have out here. Just quickly looking at some of the amenities out at Sutton Fields. As you can see, I'm standing right in front of a tennis court. And if I kind of scroll around, you're gonna see all the walking trails that eventually end up leading you into an area that includes the playground area and the community pool area. And as we move this direction, you'll see that there's some fire pits there. There's another one just next to it. And then as you look a little bit further off into the distance, you can see a little area with picnic tables and lights above where they probably plan on having community events and there's a big parking lot right in this area which I would venture to guess they're going to be like a lot of typical neighbors we see these days they bring in food trucks for their uh, residents it's a really nice community out here in Salina I can't wait for my clients to be able to enjoy all these amenities next summer Here's a closer look at the community pool. You'll see the splash area or splash pads, a little indoor seating area, more lounge chairs. And you'll actually see some loungers in the water. And you'll see a little bit further off into the distance, there's actually another pool. Back there, more of a rock pool. So now I'm right outside the playground area that's just right outside the pool area. It's all gated in, which is kind of nice. You've got some picnic tables out to the distance there. And of course, all the playground equipment children would like to see, parents would like to see. And again, they're just right behind the pool. Okay, so the real reason I'm out in Sutton Fields is I want to take a look and see what the construction status is of my clients that are building a home out here with First Texas Homes. Let's take a look. So we're now at my client's home site. Again, we're at slab stage, if you will. They've done a lot of their rough plumbing, if you will, and done what they needed to, to get this ready. The next stage is framing, and we're really excited that now the actual lumber has gotten delivered. There has been shortages in lumber. Prices have gone up significantly. So the next stage is hoping to find a crew to actually frame, which has been an issue for a lot of builders. Uh, and then back in the back, we have the brick, which is really nice to see that as well, because that tends to be something that can actually delay the progress of a home being built if it's not available. So I've sent my pictures to my clients as I try to do every time I'm out here, and they're excited to see that the lumber's out here. And now we're just waiting for the next stage in terms of getting some of that lumber into framing mode.